Hey, this is TJ from Love and Life Pitch Stuff. We are at the Hershey RV Show inside a Lance 2075 camper. In this video, we're going to take you inside one of the coolest campers that I've been dying to get into, the Lance 2075 at the 2021 Hershey RV Show. So one of the things right off the bat on Lance 2075 is this is a non-slide camper. There are no slides in this, so this is the width that it is and it's gonna be. And one of the things I really love about this is this big rear dinette. Huge rear dinette that actually also converts into a sleeping area. The cabinetry and the storage on this is fantastic back here. You have shelves inside and they go all the way to the ends. So pass through, you can put long items all the way through giving you a great amount of storage in all of these. You have puck lighting above, and also there is accent lighting here um, on an LED strip as well. You have a great sky patch up here. Well, probably, they don't want it open, but anyway, this does open, and it gives you the option of having a nightshade and for a bug screen, so you can get that added ventilation as well. You have some really cool storage here on this side. You have the capability of putting uh, wine bottles and or anything else that you really like to store in there. And they utilize all these angles. So this has a built-in adjustable shelf. So you can adjust this as necessary. Even on these things, you have a nice deep angled door. Yep. Very nice. There is storage underneath the uh, both sides of the uh, the, um, I guess if you know how to work it, it works. So, great piece of storage underneath this bench on the this side. Nice big piece of storage. Yeah. Yes? Yes. So there is some small storage on this side. There's more storage on the other side. Because you want to be able to use every piece of store of uh, space that you can get and let me show you there's a really cool little hidden storage spot tucked up in here one on each side of these corners so you can tuck stuff in the back maybe you don't want people to find or stuff you just don't want in the way as well and this table does rotate in multiple directions in and out giving you great access nice deep round bowl and a uh, two burner stove with a built-in igniter so really good microwave oven plenty of overhead cabinet space as you can see here you have a tv that faces the dinette comes out and swivels and it comes with a bluetooth speaker that you can use inside and out mounts on this spot by furion which is connected to your sound system up front this bedroom is a walk around uh, queen and before we get to the bedroom, let's just finish up the uh, fridge. So the fridge here is an Oracle fridge with freezer. Both very nice. Give you a good amount of space. All the controls are up in here. Uh, and I'm going to take you a quick peek into the uh, restroom. So this is your dry bath. Yep, it has a full dry bath, shower with an overhead skylight area, a nice toilet uh, up here and it is porcelain and you have a medicine cabinet a really cool looking sink with some counter space around for uh, things that you might need and a nice little storage underneath the sink as well so I am five foot eight and I fit no problems in here overhead plenty of room over my head so in well into your six footers and this curtain actually slides out along the top, giving you a little bit more elbow room in the shower here. Really cool. like that a lot. So in the, the bedroom here, again, like I said, this is a non-slide unit. There is another skylight hatch that opens um, over the bed here with both the screen and the nightlight shade lighting all around and you have some really nice cabinets here these cabinets go way in 
all the way to the front of the coach, full arm's length with a hanging bar in there, his and hers, one on each side with matching set of drawers for your nighttime stuff. Storage, you get this little counter space. 110, dual USB and the 12 volt. On that side, there's the on and off switch. They also give you a nice angled cabinet here for additional storage, top and bottom. TV that rotates out so you can see from the bed. Yep, so let me show you under the bed. So under this bed is a nice amount of storage here. This is not accessed under the bed. This is where your uh, in-command system is accessed. So this is not a uh, way into the, you have to lift the bed, but it's on gas struts. So it lifts up really easy. Uh, definitely not an issue. We have a big window in the front that does open out and you have your privacy shades or your black shades and your option of a bug, bug shade. And now these are dual pane acrylic windows that open like awning style, um, giving you great cross ventilation in here. Absolutely amazing. And there is a nice curtain that does roll across, separating the bed from the front if you have the grandkids or someone staying up front or you just want a little privacy back here. Uh, amazing. And this is a true full queen 60 by 80 uh, mattress. Very nice. One of the super cool features that I really, really love about the 2075 is the rear cooking area. So you have the option to add in a slide out kitchen on this. Uh, if you choose not to take the slide out kitchen, this whole panel here opens and becomes just a giant storage area. But let me show you what's in the slide out kitchen. You have a sink with a collapsible faucet. You have a two burner cook area. Uh, with an igniter. So this all slides into its own little spot inside here. And there is a uh, space between here and here that still gives you plenty of storage, as you can see, uh, for like chairs, lawn chairs. These two legs here actually um, screw into the bottom here to support this, make it a little more stable. Another really cool thing is this part of the platform actually slides out, giving you a surface. And check this out, a chilled, Dometic refrigerator draw. So you want to keep your beverages outside, your Diet Mountain Dew when you're grilling uh, so you don't get too thirsty. And here is a mount right here for your exterior Bluetooth speaker so you get some chill uh, music when you're out here grilling and the option of an additional uh, awning that will come out and cover you while you're out here grilling. And to add to that, this window being its awning style, this will open up like this and the dinette is right inside there. So you're out here cooking, you can hand food in and out. If you need something, they can give it to you from inside. You don't have to walk all the way around the cooler. And there is an additional wet storage right here underneath the bumper. So you can keep your sewer hoses or whatever else you want in there, but it is a wet storage. So it, it's not gonna keep anything dry. So nothing, anything that you want that might get ruined by the weather, that's not the spot for it. Oh, hang on. You see right up there above the window, it is set up already with a um, rear view camera. So nice. So on the exterior, you have your traditional RV uh, outside exterior shower, shower head. So you can go ahead and host things off here. Uh, dog, feet, whatever it is that you want. Hookups here for uh, satellite dish and or if you're in a park and you have the access to cable or if you're mooch docking off your family, you can just steal one of their cable lines. Your black tank flush, 30 amp. This is going to be your um, sewer, I mean, I'm sorry, this is going to be your city water connection, the black one, your black tank flush. Another storage area here that is heated, the heat comes through this area. It has a little bit of access to this side, but if you look carefully way in the back there, you have to be careful because there are some connections back there for uh, hosing and plumbing. So you want to be careful what you do put in this particular storage area. And all of these la uh, cabinets are slam latch so boom you're good to go uh, this is locked and this is going to be access for uh, mechanicals in here so we don't have access to that today moving further down the coach you can see this really nice side they have a drip rail that runs all the way across and is going to drop out your air conditioning on the edges over here this is a cool also a great cat uh, storage cabinet with a magnetic latch which i really like slam latch this is set up to carry a generator tie down straps 
This is not for the generator to be run inside of here, but you can carry it. It is vented. So if you have fuel or fuel smells from that, it will definitely vent that outside. Um, so you don't have that building up in there. Your lug wrench is in here. So really cool. And if you're not carrying a generator, it's just another storage area. You have it. A storage area underneath here as well uh, wet storage you can maybe screw hoses or whatever but another really cool feature I want you to see if you can see down here this is a cable lock which is a uh, with a padlock and this comes out and you can run that through outside toys bicycles uh, your generator so if your generator is out here you can look loop it through your generator frame plug that back in and this way your generator doesn't go for a, a walk all by itself when you're out there gotta keep them honest people honest Really nice, and this is a battery access door. So your batteries are on a tray. So it's easier to service and or change and vent it as well. So you have two of them, one on either side, and there are options to get solar on this, and you can go straight from the factory with lithium. So definitely gonna give you uh, that as a great option. Uh, another one of those great awning windows. And here you're talking about triple. This is a triple setup. Three tanks, three 20 gallon tanks. Coming around to the front is your second battery tray. Same as the other side. So you have two batteries, each on their own individual trays. And this really, really, really super cool storage area with a slide out metal tray. It's nice and sturdy. This way you don't have to rummage through the back. Your items come flying out. And so now I have a bunch of things I wanna take. I don't even have to put them on the floor. Check this out. This is a picnic table. It comes in its own spot, but imagine you got something and set it up here, close this, and you're good to go. But this comes out as a freestanding table. There's a, a little image of it on top, and it comes with you everywhere you go in its very own storage spot. Really, really cool. Latches in. Very nice. Controls for the lights in the front are here. They're not working. But yeah, so you can see how far in that goes. Really, really awesome. Very nice. This has a sliding screen door, so if you want to keep that door open, keep but keep the bugs out, tucks right in. And a really nice cool door. Very much like the new camps with the lock in the up position and a privacy screen couple of pockets for all your cool things that you want. This is a true four season camper, heated tanks, and uh, all that underneath, sealed up underneath, so it's definitely a true full. And this is an example right here of what I mean by awning style windows, how they open up to give you uh, lots of ventilation, but also if it's raining, uh, you don't have to worry about the rain dripping straight down inside. Really cool. And it has a really nice awning with wind sensors as well, and an LED strip light to give you illumination on that campsite. So we, this is your fresh water, the white valve, so it dumps your fresh water out of your tank right there. And one interesting thing on the other side, so this is set up with two hookups for your uh, sewer dumps. So you have body waste here, meaning black tank dump is here. Connects underneath here with the black handle, and then you have your secondary dump right here so you're gray so your gray's here so you have to do one then the other or hook up a y or something like that but yeah two separate some people love that some people don't care some people uh dead set against it but it is set up in two separate tanks 45 45 and 45 i believe on the water but i'll double check on that the five things I love about this Lance 2075. I love the outside storage with the pull-out tray, the slide-out tray. Love the outside kitchen. Storage, storage is always huge for me and the fact that there are so many little hidden compartments, that makes it even better. The fourth thing, the brightness. I am big on bringing the outside in, so this meets my, uh, my needs for that. And the fact that it's a four season camper with so much space and so many great little amenities, I can see us living in it full time. If you love this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, strike that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Remember to subscribe. And remember, when you're out there loving life, do it hitched up. <laughs>